How did you think that uh, Charlie struggled at the end of the year? He had a really good start, and then he couldn't uh, have that consistency. Well, you know, we are humans, man. We're going to make mistakes. Sometimes we uh, we need some kind of mistakes to to get better. Get better. I think he's the best uh, sinker guy I ever caught in my life. Uh, and I, I used to tell him all the time, it's, it's impressive, man. It's impressive the talent that he got. And um, he started really good and then, you know, was some up and downs, but but he he, he gave us everything he had. He, he's an amazing guy, amazing human being, and, and I wish the best for him in, in Philadelphia. Is he the kind of guy you wanted to, to pump up? Did he need that occasionally um, and some encouragement? Well, it, I, I always say the way I learned about catching is you have to know each personality. The, the pitching is, is very important and in the psychological, psychological part because some guys they are quiet, some guys they are really, uh, the adrenaline is up. You know, you got a guy like Hughes, you cannot be quiet, you, you gotta just go with him. But Charlie is, is the kind of guy that you just gotta be relaxed and then talk to him normal. And um, I spent the whole season trying to figure out each guy. And, I, and if you think you, you learn everything, you, you're wrong. I gotta still try to find little things about everybody because it's important for, for a catcher. But Charlie is the kind of guy that that it's gonna be quiet, it, it, it's, it's gonna give you, sometimes you, you don't know, he throw eight innings in one hour and 45 minutes, and he wins the game, and you don't know because it's, it's quiet, he just come there, ground ball, ground ball, ground ball, and that's it.